Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm doing another episode today and this one I'm, I've decided that I had a little hankering for a snack. Every once in a while I like little snacks. I don't a lot. I usually just eat my regular meals and I uh, don't eat a lot of snacks but for tonight I want to have some snacks. So anyway I've decided I'm going to make some cheese crisps. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to be making cheese crisps and we're going to turn our camera down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, putting it over at my bowl. So I've got a mixing bowl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one cup of cheddar shredded cheese. Now I buy the froze, I buy the, uh, the fresh kind and I buy it in bulk. And what I do is I freeze it. So this is frozen right now, which is fine because it makes it easy for mixing. So, and then I'm going to add one cup of grated Parmesan cheese to that. Careful with your Parmesan because sometimes it'll clump up and it'll come out all at once like that. So anyway, you got one cup there. Then we're going to do one tablespoon of onion powder, granulated onion. And I'm going to do one tablespoon of granulated garlic. Oop, that was a little bit more than that. And then we're going to do half of a teaspoon. Now those are tablespoons. This is half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. There we go. So we've got those. We're going to mix these up together. Make sure you unclump your uh, Parmesan cheese if you buy it like I do. I just I buy a lot of bulk stuff with stuff like this because it makes for a nice little thing to, to do and they're easy to keep on hand. Um, and then with the freezing I buy the hat in bulk also to just I get a cheaper price that way. So I am a price conscious person, and um, that way we get a better deal on what we're making. So look at there. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Grab that all up, get it all nice and mixed up. So we got it all nice and mixed up. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some parchment paper. And we're going to peel off about that much parchment paper. And that's going to go on top of our sheet pan. And I just keep everything from sticking on there. So we're going to move our pan over here. And then I've got a large soup spoon. And I'm going to make little clumps onto my pan. And we're going to space these apart, just like you would with a, if you're doing cookies or anything along that line. Same way, same way, just going to space them out a little bit. And this is going to be up a little bit until it uh, flexes down once I get a little bit of weight on here from these. And I use a spoon like this. That way I'm getting roughly the same amount in each one. So I kind of measure them out. And I space them apart just like I'm doing here. And this is going to make a two sheet batch. So I'm going to do another sheet pan with these. And I may end up doing even another batch of these. Because my son actually kind of likes these also. And otherwise, him and his friends would get into them. And then no more snack for dad. So, there we go. I've got an oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to put it in there for about 6 to 8 minutes. You have to really watch these because they'll crisp up nice, but they'll burn fast. We're going to put it on an upper rack. So, you can either put it on a top rack. I put it on an upper rack. And then, like I said, six to eight minutes at 400 degrees, and then we'll take them out. So when we get the finished product out, we'll bring it out, and I'll show you what it looks like. Everybody, we're back, and we're getting ready to take the uh, chips out of the oven, which I just did. Just took these out. Oh, look at those. Aren't those just beautiful looking? So now we're just going to go ahead and plate them. And I've got a little uh, serving thing I do here for when I uh, have guests over. I don't have guests over tonight, but you know what? I guess you got to treat yourself right sometimes too. So don't forget, we're going to be adding a new co-host. And Lauren's going to be starting. We're going to be doing a live show starting next week. And don't those just look wonderful? So there you have it. Stay tuned. Um, come see us again. Those are our nice cheese crisps. Oh, that's my little timer going off. 
letting me know. I pulled them out just a tad bit early because, like I say, you got to keep watching them. I had them set for eight minutes. At about six and a half minutes, I started looking. I opened it up, and I took them out at about seven. So thank you for watching. Have a great evening. Talk to you later.